What's up, squad? Check this out. Your boy been over here trying to get this done. I'm over here at Interstate Transmissions in Modesto. And uh, y'all know I've been trying to get this thing started all this time. And it ain't even running right. And it sound good. The check engine light on and everything. <clears throat> oh. What happened? I took the polar off. Oh, okay. So we're looking at that server. Yeah. Yeah, we took the distributor off. I want to share this. I want to share this start because it sound good. And mind you, the timing ain't set. The mass airflow meter ain't on there. The check engine light is still on, but they got it running. And now they finna start tuning it up. I just wanted to hear it run because y'all know I've been working hard for this. Ooh, ooh. right right now it ain't even running it ain't even timed right now can y'all hear that hit the gas for him a couple times <laughs> if you think for a second you're gonna be able to keep up you better bring it right because if you don't it is not gonna happen Woo! he sounds good right now Y'all don't know how juiced I am right now. This man right here, this is the owner of Interstate Transmissions here in Modesto. Listen, I'm happy as hell right now. Do you understand what I'm telling you right now? Like you guys are making me a happy man right now. Introduce yourself. My name's Ron Randall. Ron Randall. And, and how long you been running the shop, Ron? Oh, I've ran this shop uh, for about 20 some years. 20 some years, y'all. Are y'all listening? This is a local business owner that is out here serving our community. I'm one of his customers. Don't forget that part. <laughs> and 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 y'all listen to me. I put this motor, y'all know I've been documenting all of this. And I can get it running because I was a little out of my expertise at that point. I don't know a lot about tuning cars and and all that but i'm learning so i'm learning as i go but i didn't want to do nothing that was going to harm the engine or you know i, I just was like i ain't, i'm not going to take that chance so brought it over here and as y'all can hear look this is straight throttle body i ain't cut the camera off that's straight throttle body no no mass airflow meter no sensor no no nothing the, the timing ain't even set right the timing is off so we about to make some room he made a good idea and i didn't think about it this fuel line right here the one that's hooked up to the fuel rails to cross over because that's the normal spot that it go but if you can see down in there let's try to move these out the way a little bit if you can see how that touches the distributor it's touching the distributor so it's hard to turn it. it's like resting so he was like why don't we don't just put the the crossover line in the rear of the motor because back here had a lot of room so that crossover line can take up as much room as it needs to take up there's plenty of space back there but it'll free that piece up we can just put the plug up here because right now the plug is in the back of the motor so make more room over here by just putting the plug in the rail instead of having that fitting come out it'll clean the whole front of the motor up to be honest because then uh this line the supply line instead of running around and snaking and snaking over to the back of the engine is just going to come right across here and hook in over on this side or right here excuse me it'll it'll hook right here so it'll be sitting there and i'll just have a line come straight to it right here and we'll put the plug in over there and make more room so that makes sense and they got it running good then after we get it running and do all that all this right here is gonna all come out. I'm gonna take all that out. I'm gonna unhook everything and run it into the fender well and hide it so it'll look better and then hook everything back up. But that ain't gonna affect how the motor run. <clears throat> so once it's all running, everything is hooked up good. I'm gonna just throw everything inside the fender. That's what's gonna finish that off. So that's my update for right now. Yeah, tell me what you think. Drop a comment in the box. 
I told y'all I was gonna bring it. It's, it's, it's almost here. Join the club. I'm telling you, you're gonna wanna be down. I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna be uh, showing the local business people and, and, and how they get down. And, and excuse me, cause right now I don't have my, uh, my monopod. So y'all can only get out as far as I put you out there with my arm, but I'm gonna change all that too. So it's coming. Y'all just be be patient with your folks. Uh, I got a lot going on. Your boy is in the, I'm finna get into the medical field. I'm getting out of trucking. Okay, so again, your boy out here, I ain't had a chance to wash my truck. Look, check this out. Man, my truck hella dirty. Y'all see that? I'm finna go get her dolled up. Cause uh they resurfacing the, the uh they resurfacing the street on our block. So uh I loaded I loaded a couple of my cars onto the trailer because everybody looking for places to park, so trying to be a little considerate i just went on ahead and loaded two of my cars on the trailer uh one of my cars is around the corner and then another one went with me when we left and came back so i didn't have no cars on the street i just loaded them on my trailer and put the truck in the trailer and the two cars in the, in the driveway so that's where we are right now y'all uh it's your boy man stick with your boy i ain't out here playing trying to get their attention out here, man. I'm trying to get somebody to get me on, you know. Uh, I hit CJ on 32s. Uh, I hit Corey, uh, Life with Corey. I watch both of their channels, I support them. Uh, I, honestly speaking, between CJ on 32s and and, uh, and Life with Corey, honestly speaking, uh, I wouldn't, I, I can't, I'm on this path because I've been on this path, but the path I'm taking with the YouTube stuff is all coming from them and watching them and seeing how they progressing and growing their channels and 32 gang if y'all see this if anybody in the 32 gang see this check this out tell your boy to get at me i'm out here in cali i've been truck driving for hella long i own my own company i'm i'm finna get out of trucking man i'm actually finna pick up a whole nother profession but i got game in this trucking shit 